Hey friends, it's Amanda. Thanks so much for being here and watching. Joining you today from Wish Shimmers Paints Inspiration. And just look at how dreamy and divine this ice cream dream layout is. I'm using Vibes in Sweetheart and Princess. You'll see Creamy's Sky's the Limit. And oh, look at these. Shimmers Key Lime and Shimmers Celery. And shimmers in the lilac blossom. These colours are just gorgeous together. And of course, Dazzler's I like I lilac you and oh just beautiful colors and as you can see they coordinate beautifully with the papers and the theme of my layout today I'm using a gorgeous floral frame and cut file from cut to you which I'm now going to paint with I'm starting with shimmers key lime this is a really beautiful yellow base green it is super shimmery and just really I think it's just soft and gorgeous I love the the warmth that because it has so much yellow in it, it really brings. Um, very, you know, perfect for a summery themed layout. So just giving my shimmers a really good stir because the sediment had settled a bit at the bottom and we want that glitter throughout, that lovely shimmery sparkle that we see. And I'm going to paint all these large leaf fronds in the key lime. So starting on that first one there, really simple, nice and easy. There you are, and now I'm going to add in celery, and celery is for those tinier, smaller, more like fern leaves, I suppose you would call them. Again, sediment in the lid, so stirring it in so that we share that shimmer around so we don't miss out. And the celery green obviously has a lot more blue in it than the key lime, but it's still very, very light, and um, yeah, just summery and fun. So really gorgeous combination of greens to use for today's layout oh it really is pretty green look at that so shimmers key lime and shimmers celery very very pretty greens for those summer layouts there we go oh it's already looking fantastic and now i'm going to come in with the shimmers lilac blossom this color was only released last year and it really is one of my firm favorites it's such a gorgeous hue of purple it's not too deep and dark it's almost got a little hint of grey to it as it dries because the shimmer is just, I don't know, it's almost pearlescent, the shimmer in this one. It's really lovely. So you do get the gorgeous purple, but then you get this hint of, I think it looks really silver and, and yeah, silvery grey kind of tones to it as well. Really, really pretty. So on we go with that one. And I'm not going to do all the blooms, just a few in the lilac blossom. And then I'm going to switch over. Oh, I missed it. When I was doing this, I got so into my painting, I missed this tiny section here. So just coming back and adding a tiny bit more celery. <laughs> there we go. Just touching up where I needed perhaps a little more colour. And as I was saying, I've finished up with the lilac blossom. And I'm going to use Vibes in Sweetheart. Such a gorgeous pink. I mean, realistically, I could have used another Shimmers. But there's just something about Vibe Sweetheart that always captures my heart. It is just such a beautiful colour. And look, I think that speaks for itself. What a pretty pink. And yeah, look at that. This cut file, this floral frame from Cut To You was already gorgeous. But now, with all that shimmery beauty to it, it's just yeah, beautifully hand coloured and really really pretty for summer so not all layouts for summer have to be bright and bold and striking with sunset colors we can also still keep to those really pretty summer tones as well so i do feel like it needs a little bit of paper piecing um, i'm just going to do the centers of the blooms and i'm using the ice cream parlor collection from tinker and co digital and this is a digital scrapbook company and i'm I wasn't sure about using it initially. I, I was a bit hesitant. I'm not great at doing printing and that sort of thing. This company is amazing. It's super easy. I've just printed off. Look, I, I didn't even open any software. I just printed it as if it were a photo because I only needed small sections. And that's the great thing about this is that, um, yeah, I just print small bits off. I don't have to waste. Um, I'm trying to be more environmental and savvy with my creating and definitely... Um, this is the way to go. I've got a lifetime supply of this collection if I need it and I just print what I need. So some sheets I have printed, um, uh, you know, at an office supplies place. So I've got a 12 by 12 sheet, but, you know, where I need little bits like this, I can just go on the home printer and 
Yeah, and look at that. All those centers look lovely and it just gives it that extra lift and I think it's really, really pretty. So yeah, it's working well for me. As I said, I, I was gonna print off some larger sheets so I'm using those papers along the side there. So they are also from the Tinker & Co um, digital collection. And coming in now with that gorgeous peony stencil and some Dazzler's I Lie Like You. And oh, smooth like butter. It's always a dream to use the Dazzler's, isn't it? And the shine on them, that lustrous, lustrous shine. Just have a look at this. See if I can capture it. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Amazing. Really, really fabulous shine. And I just, I just love it. Um, coming in now with some creamies. You'll see they're really dry. Um, creamies are designed to be spritzed with water and allowed to sit for a moment. So I'm just doing that now. And because the Eyeli Lack You Dazzlers is quite soft, I just wanted to add some colour between the stenciling. Um, but again, very, very subtle. It's quite a pretty page, so I want to keep it soft and delicate. So I'm coming in with this gorgeous Sky's the Limit colour and it's it's almost like it's got a hint of peri, it's purple but with a hint of periwinkle perhaps in it, it's really maybe even cornflower colour, cornflower blue, it's, it's just really pretty and I think you can see it's really subtle, in fact I noticed as I was filming that the splatters were too subtle, you really can't see them, so I've decided to swap that over now, I've got my lovely layer in between and just adding in a little bit of Vibes Princess, so just preparing that now and just going to add a few little splatters there we, oh there we go look at that extra depth of color so just a stronger level of purple and where it's still wet on my um, sky's the limit work I'm blending a little bit of the princess in as well and it's I just love that different levels of purple just sort of popping through and very very pretty and yeah, gorgeous. So on they go. Just a few more sections of colour. There we are. I'm just going to dry off these couple bigger splatters. And um, here we go with the magic of video. It's already dry. <laughs> makes it easy. Have a look at this though. Look at the shine and the shimmer. It's really, really pretty. As I said, it is soft and gentle. It's quite a, a fun, delicate, messy page. And I think, yeah, distressing the edge of the paper there and adding some splatter down the side there too has helped with that appearance and look as well. Here's that gorgeous cut file. You can see how it's going to sit in beautifully. So I'm just going to, um, I think I'm going to leave it as it is, but I will, of course, add in my photo and then foam mount it. So it's just got a little bit of dimension. So I'm going to my photo and just organizing my supplies. You can see I've printed off lots of the floral ice creams from the ice cream parlor collection. I do like the florals there. And again, those colors are just perfect for not only my photograph, but for the colors I've used with the shimmers paints as well. So. Just playing around, I've got that gorgeous photo of my daughter um, at, the, at the ice cream parlour. Um, and um, yeah, I think this collection and these colours, they just, everything worked beautifully. And sometimes you're able to tell a story without, yeah, without too much effort at all, really. Just lots of fun playing with paint and colour. And um, yeah, I'm just going to, pop these pieces into position lots of gorgeous florals and you can see how we've created that multi-layered appearance now with just layering well with a beautiful mixed media base and then building up with a cut file and lots of embellishments throughout and over the top and yeah very very pretty and the colors yeah they just sing for themselves don't they I love that those smaller ice creams and the large one to the side there I like the sky's the limit colour. They're very, very, I know, they're lavender, but they've got that hint of cornflower blue in them again as well. So lots and lots of pretty there. And go, just making sure that foam tape's holding there. Some of them are a bit fiddly. <laughs> but looking good. Let's 
have a look. Oh, look at the shimmer. Look at those colors. So divine. Really, really pretty summer creating. And just as I said, evidence that we don't have to have all our pages as bright hot pops of color for summer, that pretty is still a thing. And just finishing off with some gorgeous sequins from our friends at Spiegel Mum Scraps. These ones are Freezing for a Reason collection. Um, but they're just a really, really pretty assortment of pinks and whites and yeah, they just tie in lovely. So I'll just arrange a few on my page and stick them down with my fine liner glue. And um, I think it was being a bit tricky. I think sometimes the glue that we use is just so good at being sticky that it often gets caught in the nozzle. There we go. So just adding on those last few sequins and finishing off the layout. If you've got questions or comments about my process today though, remember do pop them down below in the comments section. I always do my best to get back to you. Um, and if you're shopping in the Shimmers Paint store, remember code AMANDA in the comments section of your order will earn you a free paint, which is always a bonus as well. So something to remember and um, almost there here now last little details I do like that one just on the end there and we're just about done so thanks so much for watching if you've got questions or comments about my process at all today please don't hesitate to pop them down below and um, if you're shopping in the Shimmers Paint Store, I've got links for all the products I've used today in the description box. And remember, typing code AMANDA in the comments section of your Shimmers Paint Store will also earn you a free paint. So just a little way for Shimmers Paints to say thank you for watching as well. And yeah, look, lots of beautiful close-ups coming for you. Stick around and check them out. Hit the like and subscribe buttons and all that jazz. And just thanks again for all your support. It's wonderful to have you here. Have yourself a very happy arty day. Thanks for watching. Bye.